Today we're going to connect to a SCARA from 3D Potter. The printer, when turned on, broadcasts its own Wi-Fi network and needs to be connected to. In this case, it's a SCARA printer, so we can connect to it, and then we will need to enter the password. The password for all of our printers by default is the numbers 1 through 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Once connected to the printer, you can type the printer's IP address in any web browser, which is 192.168.42.14. From here, you have full control over the printer. You can home the axes, all or one at a time, manually move the printer arms, and upload and select files to print. To upload a file, we go to G-Code Files, and click Upload G-Code File. We can then start a print. For this video, we will not be starting, but we will still show the controls of the printer. Under Print Status, while a print is running, you can control the speed of how fast the print is running, down to 20% all the way up to 300%. This controls the speed and the extrude speed together, so you don't have to worry about over-extrusion or under-extrusion. The extruder slide bar controls only the extruder, so if you need more clay coming out of the nozzle, or less, you can control it with this slider here. Under the settings of the printer, they should not have to be changed, but if you want to increase your maximum Z rail height, you can edit the configuration file under Settings, System Editor, and Config. This configuration file controls all of the settings of the machine, and the only one that should be changed is the maximum axis travel distance of the Z-Rail. Here, it's M208, which sets the maximum travel distance, and we don't want to touch the X or the Y. But to allow the Z-Car to move up for farther, we might change it to 400 instead of 300. This value cannot be set too high. If set too high, the whole entire Z car will crash into the bottom of the printer. Before setting this Z rail height setting, please see our other video that shows how to change the Z rail height. This is the easiest method to connect to and control our printers. If you would rather have the printer connect to your local network, we have another video covering this, linked in the description.